Hello everyone, this is Adam from Newfie.com. We're getting the final set of collectibles in Resident Evil Revelations 2. This is right when we enter the dam for the first time. Across the bridge, right there, is the first emblem. Now, there are two uh, different routes that you can take. One is when you uh, hit the control panel with the salutes, and one is without it. This is if you hit the control panel as Clara Moria changes the direction of the water, allowing you to access this area. So remember, this is when you actually hit the control panel and switch the water flow. So we're going to get this larva, it's up here, throw a brick up, and once you're up there the insect will be highlighted red, just like all the previous insects. Remember only Natalia can see these insects, no one else can, I'm talking to Barry and he can't shoot them. So just smash them as Natalia. Alright this is the same route, you're going to come to this building. Inside here there's going to be an enemy and a gimmick chest, there's you're going to crawl through, aggravate careful. the enemy and then shoot them through the opening, shoot them in the legs. You can also lure him to the outside by shooting the lock on the other side and have Natalia lure him, but this is a lot easier. Just shoot him in the legs, walk through and get the gimmick chest. This is where I was talking, you can shoot this lock, there's also an item there, and lure the enemy from out there if you want to be creative. There's the gimmick chest. Alright, this is Route 2. This if you don't change the water flow. That means you didn't touch the control panel when you are when you were playing as Claire and Moya. Route 2, you're going to make a right, and the insect is right inside that gate. I'm going to miss it like a noob, but there is another brick on the far side of the, uh, I guess, waterway. You can grab that brick once you throw it. I did clear all the enemies in here just like I cleared them before in Route 1. So none of them pop through. Just gonna come over here and smash that insect. There is a highlighted item there, just in case you need it. There we go. Bug. Two out of six. Grab that item. I'm gonna get the next gimmick chest. The thing about this gimmick chest, it's in a locked crate. You have to shoot through, and there are enemies inside, so you have to lure them out in order to get the gimmick chest. Now I've run out. Of, I've run into a problem where the enemies actually become glitched on the door. They are aggravated to Barry, and they start walking towards him and lose full interest in Natalia. Sometimes they even block the door. But if that does happen, you can simply just walk in and get the gimmick chest. Their cone of vision won't, you know, turn away from Barry. It's a little annoying, but you know, just in case you endure, uh, endure that uh, little problem. You, have, you now have a solution. Now I'm sorry about this, I do take a little longer to get this than I should have, I should have cut it down. But anyway, this is by the crane, it's a little annoying to get. What you have to do is go up and around, just like you normally would do in story progression. You're gonna take Natalia or Barry, it doesn't really matter. Up the crane, right here. Then you're gonna ride it towards number three, as you see there. Hit the switch so the crane will go across to that number. And then once that happens, just climb down and hit the switch again to transport Barry to the other side. The emblem will be in the shallow end of the crane, like the gaping opening. Just look down and it will be right there. I'm going to show you, but you know, just skip to that end. Yeah, sorry about all that. 
Anyway, story progression again, you're gonna come to this area, locked gate, instead of going left and down, you're gonna go right and up. I'm gonna hop onto these train tracks, or car tracks, I'm sorry. Once you come onto these car tracks, on the opposite end, there's gonna be a mine card with an emblem on the back side of it. Just, you know, knife it, shoot it, blow it up with a sub-weapon, doesn't really matter. Alright, once you do that, you're gonna come back here, leap across, go down the ladder, and the emblem, not emblem, the larva is on the left side, right by the staircase. There's me trying to lock the gate, can't do it, so there is the larva right there. You're just gonna grab a brick. Me doing some squats because you know you have to keep your legs strong. Smash it. Alright, this is the gas chamber where you have to go for the ventilation part of this mission. But anyway, that's where you entered from. You're gonna make a left and you're gonna have to push this minecart. On the opposite end, there's gonna be a gimmick chest. Alright, from that same platform, we're gonna come over here. You're gonna have to push this... Uh, Again, this card over here, there's going to be a revenant on the right side, but on the left side, there's going to be a bug. Just hurdle a brick right there. Alright, now that we're off that annoying portion of the chapter, you're going to come down this le uh, elevator. And once you're down here, just look right and up, and you get the emblem. This is when you first enter the mansion, and you have the emblem key. You're going to come right side. This is story progression, so you're going to have to come through this room. Right here is the gimmick chest. Now the next emblem, you don't need the emblem key to get it, but I felt it was a little, a little easier to just show you in one go. So you're going to come here, this is going to be story progression, you're going to have to come here, make a left. You're going to fight a couple of revenants. On the left side here, in this corridor, there's a gate. There's actually an emblem right uh, on the top of the gate, you're going to see it shine in green. Just shoot it down and it's, I think it's worth like a thousand BP points. I know a diamond's like worth two thousand. I believe. Not really sure, don't quote me on that. But it is worth a lot and it's definitely worth the getting. But anyway, you're going to come down these stairs. And hidden between this crate right here is the emblem. As you can see there, it's shining. It's very well hidden. Alright, now that we got that emblem, we're going to come to this room full of revenants. The larva is right there. Just grab a brick and hurdle right through it. And if you're bad at throwing bricks like I am, you're going to break that Revenant's cage, or his test tube, and you're going to have to fight it. I don't know if these guys come alive as part of story progression, but I always kill them just in case. I don't want to have to deal with them all at once. But anyway, we're going to come here and fire that brick right up there. Yeah, I know. Out of order. I don't need you guys to, uh, you know, annoy me with that. Anyway, you, when you come back to this room, you're going to fight gas, so be uh, aware of that. Now come down here, you're going to find two revenants in this room, one is patrolling, the other one's on the floor. Inside here is also the gimmick chest. Oh, this is after you get the security key level 2, you're going to come to this room. It's going to be a huge battle, I do recommend that you kill the revenants in the test tube because they do come alive. But anyway, once you come down here, the emblem is on the right side. Now I should mention, in order to get all the collectibles, you do need the good ending of this game. To get the good ending, Moya must be the one who kills the final boss of episode 3 when you're with Claire and Moya. If Claire kills him, it won't count and she will never get over a fear of guns. And it will initiate the bad ending, so you know, make sure you Moya is the one who kills him. This is where you find Lottie, who's been basically violated and dismembered. Come here, there's the workbench on the right side, on the left side, upon this... Well, I don't even know what this thing is, but you know, there's a larva. The final one of the game. Alright, this is after you get the good ending, where Barry is taken on Alex by herself, and clears with the sniper rifle. Up here, this is where the emblem is, as you saw right there. And if you initiate the cutscene where Barry goes inside the mine right here, just come up the upper left hand side of the opening right here. And you'll be able to swing around again and get a good angle on the emblem. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the reviews of Resident Evil Revelations 2. I will be putting up a let's play as well. So yeah, hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching. If you need more guides, just click the notes on the screen.